Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, we got, finally, we got the KSP gold. Wait, where, where did I do with it? I don't know here. I'll make a new one. I got the KSP gold, and it was so hard. It was so hard. Thankfully, Nuketown and playing with the Lobby of Six made it easy. What I did is, all I needed was the point blanks left, obviously, and this KSP is really bad. There's no hardcore Nuketown. So I just did overkill with the Bullfrog on top so I could, like, level it up. And then the KSP, so I could, like, swap to it with Gung Ho for the point blanks. Now, for my Bullfrog, it is max level, or almost. It's level 50, so I, I can do all the camos. So right now, I am working on... Apparently, I'm working on long shots again, even though I already got those done. Wow, it took away six from me. You know what's really annoying about the long shot thing? Is one of my classes, I put that long shot... This class right here, I put the long shot camo on it so I wouldn't lose it because... Oh, this game is so annoying. I need six more long shots now. I hate that Call of Duty does that, bro. I needed one more. So I played a game. I got my one long shot. I backed out of it. I put the bloodline on and then I played other games. And now I come back and just six are randomly gone. It's so annoying. All right, we got a domination, which is nice. I've actually gotten domination majority of the time. So we're going for not point blank stun kills i want to do the stun kills i want to get the flora done basically on this class the only thing i really care about is my gear head and my two field oh you know what i just thought about i should have warmed up once actually if i would have warmed up once i could have actually got those long shots done real quick but it is what it is we're here now playing video games so definitely by tonight especially during the stream or maybe even before the stream starts I will have this gold, this bullfrog gold, by tonight for sure, which means I'll finally have diamond SMGs, of course, until they take it away, though. I don't know why to stun myself. The stuns have weird balances sometimes, but I will have the SMGs diamond until they take away one of my long shots or something, but they will be diamond, and then I think what I'm working on next is I really want to work on, especially during this double XP week, uh, because I have Thanksgiving tomorrow. I have tomorrow off of work and none of my family is meeting because of everything happening in the world so what i think i'm gonna do is run around i'm gonna optimize this double xp and i think i'm gonna run around with snipers and shotguns that way i can start leveling up the do i need point blanks i think i do oh my goodness that's how i do my point blanks guys just so you know i get behind someone for some reason it's in my brain to get out of aim down sight and just spray and pray i don't know why it's a big problem of mine but yeah i'm gonna do the snipers and the shotguns at the same time not I'm basically so I can get the levels done uh, because I don't really need the camos like right away. I want to get as many guns leveled up as I can. And then I also need to some at some point during this double XP week, I need to get the RPG leveled up. And I mean, I've been working on the Sigma like quite a bit. I'm actually nasty. Isn't that crazy? I have been working on the Sigma a little bit, like shooting down the rockets in the air. But I, I mean, it, the Sigma just takes forever to level up. And then when I finally do get a level it up, I have to do all the eliminations with it. Not looking forward to that, but to be honest, the Sigma, the Thumper, and the RPG are probably, even though it's a bad idea, probably be the last things I do. Like I said, I'm trying to like level them up now and start like slowly working on them, you know, like passively. I've said that before. Uh, just so, you know, they're not like terrible. I don't think that was one of the stun guys. No, it's okay though. I just got my field mic and a spy plane. Another awesome thing I found, guys, is running air patrol is actually pretty good when you're going for camos, especially on Nuketown. So basically, UAV count UAV for the flora camo, the cherry blossom. And then I was running armor, but I was, especially like when you're playing hardcore, you definitely don't want to run armor in hardcore because it does literally nothing. But air patrol is really good because especially when you're on Nuketown, I'm getting destroyed now. But especially when you're on Nuketown and they call in like a chopper gunner, because like especially right now, like when you're playing solo, usually when you're playing solo, you get uh what's it called? Uh spawn traps. That's usually how that goes. That poor guy didn't even know what was happening. Jeez, dude, I when I the way I get my point blanks is ugly, but just do what you gotta do, you know? My friend Scary told me that when you get the tack mask like icon and then you kill someone, it doesn't count towards your floor I came out and that actually it makes sense so I believe him but I don't like it you know like I I don't like that at all I don't know if there's still a guy over there at the jeep where in the world yeah it's kind of it's kind of bogus like but it makes sense because it, it says that they have to be stunned and if they're using flag jacket then there are what's it called tack mass and they're not stunned that's got my rapid fire dude literally I like after doing these smgs I found that literally every one of the camos in this game except for point blanks and maybe long shots for the smgs 
are things that you just don't even have like all the camos are things that just happen the only thing like i said i mean point blanks don't just have i mean they will but they take forever and then long shots for the smgs are the same way and what i mean by that is like none of the camos except for long shots and hardcore and then point blanks do you even have to like realistically if you just played with this gun especially if it's double xp so you can level it up quicker like start unlocking camos quicker if you played with like this gun this one gun all day long and you didn't check any of your camos wow that guy sucks and you didn't check any of your camos by the end of the day it would be gold basically besides the point blanks and the long shots all right let's roll oh you know i realized i didn't place on a single field mic that whole last round i was too busy talking about point blanks which is like so terrible like i i genuinely hate point blanks and how impossible they are let's place this field mic down here wait is that guy over here still to my right i think there is still a guy here oh there he is i didn't get that kill but whatever someone else did this guy's from the top i like these guys who's camp the top windows these are the easiest guys to get point blanks on because oh uh, oh uh, <laughs> no dude but yeah the guys that are up top in the windows if you just like kind of get up there like sneak behind them it's just a free point blank because they never turn around especially because i'm running ninja james wood get out of my lobby no that would have been a long shot if i got that guy across b i didn't know there was a guy laying down behind the semi truck let me actually get this let me get these oh you know what? i don't have a uh, danger close so i'm not even gonna shoot at that one guys my biggest tip for going for camos is don't do it solo like literally that i have found that doing it solo compared to a full team of six even if like your team i mean my team of six is pretty good i would say but i would even guess that even if your team of six isn't that great it's still better than this i mean little i mean you guys have seen it every video that i play by myself every time i record a youtube video by myself we just get double capped every time it's, it's just not fun to get double capped especially like this and i don't understand like is the enemy team are they in a team of six or are they just simply better but look there we go there's the air patrol like getting its use destroy attack helicopter now, the worst is when they call in a helicopter i call in my air patrol and then they immediately get a, a chopper gunner right after that's the worst also something super annoying is my camera will not focus on me which is why i moved the camera now you guys can see the monitor like right here a little bit because for some reason it kept focusing on my microphone so i moved it so like you guys can't really see the microphone anymore but now look if i look up at you there we go it focuses but as soon as i look down it doesn't like focus on anything else sometimes like right now it's saying focus on me which is nice but it doesn't like stay focused i don't really like it I'm not sure why it's doing it well they've called in a helicopter and a chopper gunner so this is that's my cue to leave oh dude i was about to do a uh, hardcore domination to get those last six long shots they added hardcore nuketown oh i'm just gonna get these quick last six long shots and then end it there but i i don't deserve that i mean i what, what do you want me to do i was playing i was doing my job and literally every time i play i get double cap but dude they added yes they added a hardcore nuketown yes one two get out of here this is my spot three four I lost track of what number I'm on because we're playing team deathmatch, so the spawns literally do not make sense. I have had their full team spawn behind me four different times now. Uh, that's f either four or five. Not 100% sure. Uh, that's either five or six. Wait, did that count? What about this door? Oh, that might not have counted. That might not have been long enough. That one would have counted. I think that's it. I think I have them all. All right, it counted again. I got my long shots again. Dude, for the KSP, or what gun was it? One of the guns, I had to get the long shots three different times. It was so annoying. But there we go, got long shots again. I just have to get a less than 20. All right, what is this? 18 more for the Cherry Blossom. Point blanks are going to take me eight hours. And then this, I can honestly, if I wanted to, could do it in one game. Like, it's so easy to do. Not really. But you know what I'm saying? Headshots. Or, no, this is the Bloodthirsties. Literally haven't gone for these these first three haven't even gone for them once they just all just have but thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys tonight on the stream rudipatootie.theta.tv the link will be down in the description down below and i'll see you guys all later goodbye